Hey guys, Iron Spider-Man here with another comic book video. Um, finally got time to sit down and do a haul video for you guys. These are all the books I've gotten from basically mid to end December or mid to end November till now. Um, also testing out my new tripod uh, for my phone, so hopefully no more shaky cam videos because everything I used to do was just handheld. So. Um, yeah, we'll just get into it. Uh, not too much of a wide variety, mostly Spider-Man. sure you guys are surprised at that, me, me being a big Spider-Man guy, but I'll just get into it. First couple books that are actually not Spider-Man books. Um, this is Iron Man issue 2. This is from the current series, volume 6. And um, this was, I think, uh, the Marvel Unlimited special variant. You can only get it through... Um, the Marvel Unlimited subscription box, which I do not have. So I picked this up on eBay with these two. This is the armor design variant. Um, I think I paid something like 45 for both, something like that. Um, I don't know how much the subscription box is, probably 20 bucks, I'm assuming. So uh, I don't think I did too bad. And this was the only two copies I could see on eBay that like came together and were a decent price. So got those. Um, Amazing Fantasy starring Spider-Man issue 16. This is a continuation of the Amazing Fantasy series, which was canceled back in 62, right after Spider-Man made his first appearance. This is, I believe, 2004. Um, this was actually free. Um, a friend of mine at work, she, um, was out of state visiting family and, uh, was at a comic shop, picked it up for me. So, and I didn't have this one yet, thank God. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 140. Now, um, a couple of these books, and I'll try and put them out. Um, I'm about 40 minutes east of, uh, Pittsburgh, and there's a comic shop down there. It's pretty huge. It's actually, like, two floors. Um, I went down there, so some of these books are from that shop. It's Amazing Spider-Man 40. I forget. They put the price on the back, and roughly, like, what the grade is. So this is roughly an 8.0. I guess this is the day they got it in. 25 bucks but the color is really nice on it i think i mean not too much is wrong with it spine has like one ding um, the colors are still really nice the bottom corners and everything are still really strong i think this would be eight five nine maybe i think that's a little better um and they put them in these nice like these are mylar basically backs and boards um, but I have a few of those in Amazon, or on Amazon on the way. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 189. Again, just, this, what I, this was $30. They think it's a 9-2. I mean, again, looking through it, spine's really clean. Colors are great. I think this is a better than a 9-2. I think this probably would get... Nine four nine six. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man one ninety. Man Wolf. What was the price? So this was thirty seven. This is he thinks a nine four. Um, and colors are really nice on it. I think this is, yeah this could be nine four nine six. I think. Uh, I'm working on just volume one now of Amazing Spider-Man, so I have everything else. I have issues, I have what, I have 297 to the current run all completed, and then a handful, I have like, a handful, I don't even know how much, I think I have in total now like 236 issues out of 441 that I need, so I'm almost 100 issues away, um, I would like to say I'm almost close to completing it, but like the first... Probably 10 issues of Amazing Spider-Man are going to be a few years away, probably before I have all those. Uh, 191. 20 bucks, 9.2. Thanks. And the reason I picked most of these books is because there's, like, nothing wrong with them. They're relatively cheap for what I could spend. I think this would be better than 9.2. I think this would be a 9.4. And then these are some less expensive back issues. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 240. I believe this is early John Romita Jr. art. 
Um, yep, yeah, there's, there's his there's his JR JR. So that's him. Two forty one. Two forty seven. Two fifty one. I really like that cover. That cover, and I think it's two forty five where um, Spider Man's grabbing the Hobgoblin and unmasking him. I've wanted both of those for a while. Uh, annual 14. I'm starting to get into the annuals. Um, I used to, for years, I never liked annuals. I thought they were kind of pointless, but if I want to say I have the entire run of Amazing Spider Man, I gotta, you know, get the annuals too. Super clean cover too on this one. It's 9.0. It's 20 bucks. I don't even see why this is a 9.0. Super sharp corners. Yeah, I don't know. And there's one, I think, I think the camera can pick it up. There's a tiny indent right there. But yeah. Um, now these are, I think we're getting into some of the eBay uh, comics. This variant two or six twenty three, uh, Planet Comic Con Kansas City. Um, this is a Joe Jusco cover. Thought I had that already. Guess I didn't, so bought it. Uh, this I got from my local comic shop that I go to every week. Six twenty four variant. Peter Parker, you're fired. Um, this I kind of bought on a whim. It was super cheap on eBay, and I was buying a bunch of stuff, so I just threw it in. Uh, this is Amazing Spider Man issue four or eight oh five of the current series. Uh, the Philip Tan variant. Uh, nice symbiote Spider-Man cover with Black Cat and Green Goblin. Okay, so I think that's it for the Amazing Spider-Man books. Now on to... This is from the same Pittsburgh comic book store. Um, I had bought the collection of Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man. All 263 issues. I bought it a while ago. I want to say 2018, maybe early 2019, something like that. A lot of the issues were junked like i want to say like issues 100 to 263 were all fine but like 1 to 100 there was like probably 20 some issues that were like ripped or the spine was beat to hell or just all like basically toilet paper at that point so i'm trying to find when i can uh peter parker spectacular spider-man issues that you know aren't too rough or anything and like this a couple spine ticks but like nothing major clean co clean cover i need to get these in these as you can see this bag is starting to wrinkle must have been in it for a long time i need to get my mylars back from amazon so i'm mylaring everything especially spider-man so issue 39 issue 45 this is also a series i haven't read too much of amazing and ultimate i know almost like the back of my hand um spectacular web of spider-man um todd Mc like what started as todd mcfarland's uh just spider-man series those are the ones like i haven't read too much of which is on my reading list 46 62 67 68 76 pretty iconic cover 93 i think that's yeah so i'm also trying to start to get into the what if books um i'm only collecting the spider-man ones though um so i was digging through this is also from that same pittsburgh comic book store i was digging through the boxes because they're you know cheap and again anything with spider-man i want to get so what if spider-man became a murderer i haven't read any of these what ifs but i really want to they seem interesting if Peter Parker had to destroy Spider-Man, um, I don't see how that's going to happen unless it's like a split, like they separate like they did in this early Spencer run. Uh, what if Scarlet Spider killed Spider-Man? What if Spider-Man went through arachnomorphosis? Kind of like the man spider, like uh, from the cartoon and when he grew the six extra arms. This, I've actually, um, I didn't even know this existed until a couple months ago. What if Aunt May had died instead of Uncle Ben? Um, it was a really neat story. This is relatively newer. I mean, like, post-2000s newer. Um, it was kind of cool, because it was like, Aunt May died, so, like, Peter is, like, enraged. And he either almost again or does kill the burglar. I can't really remember. 
But, like, basically, like, he doesn't become, like, the Spider-Man we all know and love. And it's funny because it's, like, like you get to see, like, the difference. Like, well, if Dad died or if Mom died, you know, Uncle Benny and me. So I thought it was really cool because, like, he kind of still stays, like, the show, like, showbiz jerk that he was in Amazing Fantasy 15. So kind of a neat story. Uh, what if Spider-Man House of M? This was kind of weird. This was... I don't see why it was a what-if book. This is, um, it's after the House of M storyline, which I love. And it's basically Gwen from the House of M universe, but she's in the fixed 616 universe. Like, she's walking around, find, like, she finds out she died and all this stuff. And Doctor Strange is like, you're not supposed to be here. And he, like, sends her back or something. It was kind of weird, because, like, it wasn't a what-if. It was just like, hey, this happened but, like, no one knew about it. Like, Gwen came to the fixed universe. But then Doctor Strange, I think, sent her back. And this, too, I think... I love House of M. Um, and I love the Spider-Man House of M story. Because I'm... As everyone who any watches any of these videos on this channel knows, I'm a big Gwen Stacy fan. Love Gwen Stacy. Mary Jane's great, but she's always been number two to me. Um... In House of M, where everyone wakes up and their lives are like the perfect versions of their of what they could be, it's basically heaven for everyone. Um, Peter's married to Gwen, and that I think is the only and forever argument I'll ever need for people that are like, "Well, why is Gwen so great?" It's like, well, it was his first love, one of his first loves, his greatest love, and in his perfect version of life, he's married to her, not Mary Jane. So I really like that. Uh, what if Spider-Man and Wolverine, nice John Romita Jr. cover. I mainly got it for that. Um, the Spider-Man Wolverine versus Wolverine story was okay. The only thing that was really significant about it was Ned Leeds died and uh, Spider-Man actually killed someone. Uh, Logan's like old girlfriend or something. But yeah. Uh, Superior Spider-Man 17. This is the Oliver, is it Copiel? Copel? I don't know how to say his name. It's like C-O-I-P-E-L um, variants. I believe this is, or this is Superior Spider-Man 18. I believe this is the J.G. Jones cover. I like that. Uh, Superior Spider-Man 19, also the J.G. Jones cover. Got that from Midtown Comics during their Black Friday sale. Uh, Superior Spider-Man 28, this is the David Marquez variant. I feel like he's an underrated guy. Um... Superior Spider-Man 29, this is, I can't remember his first name, it's Molina, because I always remember, because it sounds like the Alfred Molina from, who played Doc Ock in Spider-Man 2, but I just know his name's Molina, I can't remember his first name. Uh, Spider-Man 2099, number one, the uh, J.G. Jones variant, Midtown exclusive, and Spider-Man 2099, number two, I think this is the Fairy variant, F-E-R-R-Y um, but it just looked really cool. So yeah, guys, that's it for my haul for today. Um, be on the lookout for a couple more videos coming. I got three suits to review. Um, I got a bunch more comics coming from eBay, jscottcampbell.com, and my comic shop on their way. So, um, be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.